Well, my name is Fiorella Bastidas, and I am the chairman of the Youth Catholics here in Sweden. So, what I do is a lot. It's a, a from retreat to different activities to unite all the Swedish youth in Sweden. Many Catholics, or just approximately young Catholics, um, you unite as the chairman for youth uh, Catholics in Sweden. Well, right now we are three thousand uh, who are. Uh, who are um, uh, members from in the youth Catholic that we know? Well, it's um, it's a mix. We are not so many uh, in Sweden, but uh, the few we are, we are like um, very strong in faith. So that's good. We're not so many, but we are strong and we do a lot of things together. You have your own experience about defending what you believe in. Um, especially in Swedish society, which is really called liberal or multicultural. Well, um, yeah, I have met uh, different persons who have uh, other things of view. They see things in different, especially these ethnical questions about abortion, the homosexuality, and um, here it's much. They go after what it feels. What it feels like this. Well, I go that way. And uh, and we don't act like that. We know that some things are like they are, and we try to understand why why the Catholic Church uh, have that view, that tradition. Um, but also, I um, I have uh, friends from other religions. Uh, I have three best friends: one Catholic, one Orthodox, and one Muslim. So when we discuss this, it's very interesting because we have also a lot of com we have a lot in common when we talk about God and we will talk about the devil and the evil. We see same. We have the same. Um, sorry, we have the same um, opinions. Uh, but when we talk about Jesus, then we go different ways because for me, Jesus is my savior and for them it's just a prophet but it's also in this uh, in Sweden it's very you can feel um, a special um, how do you say a relationship uh, with other persons who believe because we don't have the same religion and we don't think the same but we respect and we understand uh, this faith that we have because when we talk to atheist persons they are like what we're talking about they even to understand they try to respect, but there is no understanding, uh, so that's the difference. Actually, you mentioned uh, this union of uh, different people of different religions, and actually this is the aim and the goal of this camp. Can you introduce the camp? What's the idea? What's the program of it? Well, we the, the idea uh, behind the camp is to prepare the youth about the Pope visit and the, this uh, meeting the Lutherans and the Pope are going to have. Um, and to try to unite this youth who are Lutherans and Catholics. Uh, because we always have focus between the differences. And now here we are going uh, through this five imperative and try to understand what we have in common and what we can do together. For example, pray together, we can do missionary, um, help people who need help and uh, do a lot of stuff and uh, you be united in Christ in this one body so that is the um, so it's like it's more mm, so this camp is preparing us to have another view to see more uh, community than a conflict so uh, what do you think can be like the future of this um, commemoration, join ecumenical commemoration, there can be some fruits of this meeting. You hope for it, I guess. I hope, and I have already seen it here, because we are trying to dialogue between us. We have, uh, like, not s like start to plan, what can we do here in Malmö, and how can we do it in Stockholm? How can we do this? Because, like I said before, the question was, what can we do? And we have some um, different response to that, like pray together, uh, go outside and help the people who need help, uh, and or just meet, uh, uh, read the Bible together, 
And um, so I think that this will have a lot of fruits and that we will see it. Um, do you have some message or from your own point of view, how you feel your faith, what can be a recommendation for any Catholic, not just in Sweden, but also in, in Czech Republic or whatever in the world, um, as the basic to stay firm in the faith? Well, to follow Jesus. This is the most important, to follow him. But to have this relationship with him, to try to understand why, why are we Catholics? Why did we decide to, to continue with that way that my parents have learned me? Because that's the most important. When we have this relationship with Jesus, we will understand a lot of things and we will do it with love and with our own will.